Hey guys, it's Spiros from The Self-Help Photographer. It's Tuesday, which is Q&A day. And today's question comes from Manasteep Brutal Chakraborty. And Manasteep, I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Manasteep wants to know what is RAW? Now in short, RAW is a file type for saving images when you take them with your digital camera. But other than that it's a file type, that doesn't really tell us what RAW is. To understand RAW better, we need to understand what happens when we take a photograph. Now light enters your camera, and when you press the shutter button, light is actually striking your camera sensor. And if you remember from last week's video, your camera sensor is made up of millions of tiny individual sensors. Now each one of those individual sensors records how many photons of light actually hits it. That information is then transported and translated into digital information. And all the information from each one of your individual tiny sensors that make up the full camera sensor is gathered together and stored in the temporary memory of your camera. From that point, the camera actually has to process this information. So your camera is a computer and it has processing software. Canon uses the Digic processing engine, Nikon uses the X-Speed. This software takes this information and turns it into an image that we can understand. It does all sorts of stuff to your image. It does things like applying sharpening. It saturates the colors. It sets the brightness values of the different areas of the image and a whole host of other things. Now once all the processing has been done, it takes that and it exports it to a JPEG image file that is saved on your memory card. And then all of that original data that was gathered from the image sensor and saved into temporary memory, that information is deleted from the camera. That process would be the same as if you took a camera with a roll of film and you shot that roll of film. Then you took it to the lab to get it developed. And when you went to pick up your order, you got all of your prints, but there were no film negatives. In fact, the lab had taken your negatives, shredded them up, and thrown them away. See, in the film world, that negative is the source of information from which your print is created. The raw file format is the same way. The raw file format is the source of information from which you can take and generate your final image. Now the raw file comes into play before the JPEG is actually created in your camera. The raw file is that raw data from the sensor, minimally processed. The camera processing software does a couple of things, but then it takes all of that raw data and it saves it directly to the memory card of your camera. And when you save this raw file, you get way more information than you ever get when you save a JPEG file. Let's look at an example. This photo of Lulu, my cat, is a JPEG that came straight out of the camera. It's 5.8 megabytes, and this file contains only enough information to set the brightness and color value of each of the individual pixels in this image so that when we look at it, we see the picture of my cat Lulu. Now let's take the raw file, which is 22.5 megabytes, which is nearly four times the information that the JPEG photo contained. Now this raw file isn't very remarkable, but that's because we haven't done any post-processing. We haven't gone into the dark room and developed our print. Once we get to the computer, we can process this file ourselves, And this is where raw really shines because it gives you an infinite number of possibilities for what your final image can actually look like. With your RAW file, you can change and manipulate all sorts of things. Things like the exposure, you can change the white balance, you can recover highlights in areas that are slightly blown out, you can open up the shadows or make them, make them darker. You can do so many things with the RAW file, it is astounding. For example, this photo now of Lulu is the raw file after I processed it. And when you compare it to the original JPEG, you can see that the images are not crazy different, but that's because I wasn't going for a crazy different look. Now, before I go on, you might be wondering about Photoshop and you might be thinking, well, hey, I can take a JPEG into Photoshop and I can do all sorts of Photoshop wizardry. And the truth is you're absolutely right. You can do a lot with the JPEG but you can do more with a raw file. Think of it like this, working on a JPEG in Photoshop is sort of like taking the four by six print that you got back from the lab and then taking some markers and coloring on that print to make it look like you want the final image to look. You can change the information, you can make it look different, but you're destroying the original data 
that you had in order to make this change. Working on a raw file is like taking the negative into the dark room and generating a brand new print that matches your vision of what the image should look like. This new print, unless you've gone to some very serious extremes, will contain more detail, more information than the JPEG manipulated in Photoshop ever will. Here's an example, a 100% side-by-side comparison of the original JPEG and my processed RAW file. Look at the detail and the color that I was able to bring out in the hair. In the RAW file, you can see the reflection in the eye of the camera as I'm taking the photograph, and you can see the color of the purple wall behind me. Whereas in the JPEG, you can barely make out the camera only because we know it's there and the color of the wall is nearly impossible to see. Now let's look side by side at the JPEG and the RAW file with the exact same post-processing software changes made to them. When you look at them zoomed out, they look pretty similar. There are differences, but they are slight. But when you zoom in, you can see the color and detail that the RAW is capable of compared to the JPEG. The JPEG is muddier, it has less detail and less color compared to the RAW file. So the obvious question is, should you shoot your photos in JPEG or should you shoot your photos in RAW? The truth is you can get great quality photos from JPEG. In fact, for about six or seven years, I shot strictly in JPEG. I had tried RAW years ago. And at the time, the software sucked, the computer I was working on was really slow, and my workflow was really horrendous. I hated it, so I stopped using RAW, and I shot JPEG exclusively, and I was very happy with my images. When I went back and tried RAW again, I was comparing the workflow and the quality results to my JPEG images. And I found, because I had a better computer and the software had gotten better over the years, that it was easier for me to process my RAW files than it was my JPEGs. It was faster than processing my JPEGs and the quality and the look of the photos was better. So at that point, I switched to RAW and I never looked back and I shoot exclusively in RAW. Now, there are some photographers out there who will say, if you don't shoot RAW, you're not a real photographer. I wanna be clear, that's a bunch of crap. If you are happy with the results you get in JPEG, then shoot in JPEG, that's fine. If you only shoot in JPEG right now though, I encourage you to give RAW a try. That doesn't mean you have to stick with RAW, but I would encourage you to try it and see if you like it and see if you like the results that you get. You might find that you love it like I did and switch to RAW completely. You might find that you can't get the pictures you want, that it takes too long for you to process the images and that you hate it. And if that's the case, go back and shoot JPEG. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you this week. Do me a favor, in the comments, let me know if you currently shoot JPEG or RAW. And if you're a JPEG shooter, let me know if you're gonna try RAW. I'd like to hear from you guys. If you have any questions, use the links down in the description. You guys know what to do. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And most importantly, you guys get out there and take some damn photos. I will see you on Thursday. Uh, uh, me photographer. Uh. Me shoot raw.